Um, yes, I'm Angelica, and um, I'm going to be doing some spoken word for you guys today. And I know that a lot of times when people hear spoken word and they're not really familiar with what that means, they might think that I'm going to go and... Uh, you know, say something about social justice, and I'm gonna not really rhyme, and I'm gonna, you know, be pretentious and all these things. And yeah, I'm gonna do everything <laughs> like that. So I hope you enjoy. Um, uh, also, I just want to say thank you for the introduction, um, which I did write myself. So I <laughs> was quite humble to hear that. And um, the other thing that I want to mention before I start is. There's one, oh yes, thank you for having me here too. I'm very glad to be here as well. So, all right, I'm just gonna get into it and I'm gonna do my first poem, um, which is kind of uh, a theme that will be addressed in other people's talks today. Uh, my first poem is called 100%. I breathe success 100%, satisfaction 100%. Ambition, 100%, 100%, 100%, me at a poetry slam. Eye contact, eye contact, eye contact, the most innovative use of hyperbole. Whoa, man, that was really good. What a great poem. Me at a job interview. Eye contact, eye contact, eye contact, firm handshake. Whoa, you're a great candidate. Thanks so much for flying. Me making friends. Eye contact, eye contact, eye contact. I would love to be your friend. Me, I am not good enough. I'm God enough. You might think I'm homo sapien. I am actually auto champion. I breathe Zeus and exhale Poseidon. Stories of conquest swim in my blood. My chemistry is chemical. My semen is seminal. My fluids are flexible. I am the most sensual skeletal pedestal prisoner. I am a prisoner to the metal. I'm trying to breathe better than the other god machines when in reality, me at a poetry slam. Eye contact, eye contact, eye contact, eye contact. Whoa, that was really good, but 3.2. Me at a job interview. Eye contact, eye contact, firm-ish handshake. You're a great candidate, but unfortunately, we've had a lot of great candidates, so me making friends. Eye contact. I would love to be your friend, but I have a lot of friends, so me, I am not good enough. I'm trying to breathe better than the other god machines, but failure is much more detrimental. I am learning to breathe with oxygen. I am becoming human again. And maybe that means that I'm not god enough, certainly not good enough, but at least enough human. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, so it's always good to uh, do a funny poem and have no one laugh. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys want to interact with me, that is super cool because that's kind of the thing that happens in spoken word. People can laugh, people can scream, people can snap. If you like a line, uh, you can shout, you can stand up on stage and pull me in different directions. Whatever you feel like doing is okay. Uh, on that note, I was told that I have to stand on this red dot. So if I step off of this red dot, everyone has to boo me, okay? And just like, or come onto the stage and put me back onto the red dot. That might happen, so. Uh, <laughs> all right, so my next poem, um, to uh, bring down the energy, uh, is gonna be a sad one, uh, but it'll be happy at the end, so don't you worry. Uh, this poem is called Today You Might. Today, you might not be who you wish you were or who you thought that you were yesterday. You might be the forgotten pee below the fridge or the spider numb that crawls through the wrinkles in your forehead and chokes on the invisible bar lines that make up your teeth. Today, you might think of losing your identity so miserably it feels like a memory or maybe you feel like your own enemy, alien in your skin. Loved ones detached from the bodies you remember them living in, you feel thin, like straw, 
like incapable against the rage against gravity you feel printed between parentheses you feel diseased like curled up ball like never want to unwind like feeling the weight of far too much too soon today your soul which has been so quiet it seems like it is fading will let words put it to sleep tonight you will repeat fearless 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 with every flinch of paper cut on your sliced cheeks and tomorrow you will still not believe the words fearless as you spit them in the mirror but this feeling will seem a little bit clearer Tomorrow, you will rage. You will explode through your veins against this small cyclops, this invisible vulture, this tiny bracket that separated you and your tomorrow. You will accept this quietness as your own, the religious whisper saying, all will be OK. All will be OK. Tomorrow, your rusty music will sound sweet. Tomorrow, you will laugh. And just for a second, it will resonate your DNA until your chromosomes convince themselves that suffering is merely a symphony conducted by the epitome of triumph. Tomorrow, the noise under the fridge crawling in the corners of your ears, shadowing in the syllables of your mind, will finally give you pause so you can hear yourself and not your yesterday when you say, I love you. Tomorrow, you will triumph the small p feeling, and little by little, you will grow into a forest. Tomorrow, your foreign fingertips will create a volcanic clay sculpture. Your rubbed red eyes will sparkle fire in your love soul. Your body will run marathons faster than yesterday can catch up to you. I promise you, today is only a cunning cut on your capacity, only a small stab on your capability, only a small stab on who you will be and who you are already. Today, there is might in the strongest sense of the phrase, and tomorrow there will be more. Thank you. Um, so yes, was that a whistle that I heard? Yeah? My boyfriend's here, so I think it might have come from him. He's over there in the back, everyone make him uncomfortable. Yay! <laughs> Um, so this uh, next one, um, form a, ooh, I'm going to perform a haiku for you guys. I'm going to perform a haiku for you guys. No, it will be good. Okay, so that was a haiku on its own. So you guys get two haikus in one. Uh, physics. Uh, <laughs> so this haiku is called, actually there's no name. Um, can I get a word in the audience, please? Focus? This, this haiku is called Focus. <laughs> With all the trees cut and the oxygen logged, how will we print money? It's just, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I just... Do I, do I still have like seven more minutes ish? Five? To someone? So who do I ask these questions to? All right. <laughs> okay, just, okay, cool. Because I, I still have like, I, I have two more poems I was planning to do, but now I feel like I could do three, but I don't know how time works. All right. Well, I'll do, I'll do this one, uh, which I wasn't planning to do, but just because I did that kind of environmentally haiku, I wanted to do this poem. Um, before I do my next plan too. This one is called Harvest Moon. Sun settle to sunrise, there is moonlight. Night tumbles like a diseased crop. Without me will everything stop. The farmer's got a deep blue blood he's convinced is a pistol. The farmer's got carbon for breath, his mother says seems crystal. The farmer's got a clock in his chest, tick, tick, ticking until the steam whistles. You're only temporary. Sun settle to sunrise, there is moonlight. Like a slow haven to a glowing shield. Harvest like a field with your pupils as black and as wide as the infinity. Overhead as desperate to crumble the hungry heat back from the dead. Forest of the village without me every night would grab its filthy hands of pillage and steel. The farmer's got a spine compressed like an encyclopedia. 
The farmer's got undressed perfection. He packages as almost all fresh for the rotten media. The farmer's got a flicker on the corner of his boots so his toes can seep into the soil so the same seeds can look back up to him and scream, you are a prisoner to the darkness. Sun settle to sunrise. I am the cage in the twinkle of the equinox. The silent surprise, the demise as violent as pitchfork and pumpkin. Wasted like the town drunk. It could be so easily, so sweetly. The farmer's got a pot of gold he cannot shield with his bare hands. He's got eyes like a cylinder and land to fuel. The farmer's got a selfless stain on his lungs where he will linger his calloused fingers as he sees me. And he wonders why the harvest moon is only a finite kind of infinity. The same way that he feels so temporary, I ask him, why are we fighting for the imaginary? He looks back up to me and says, Harvest Moon, with forever comes a fierce finale. But for now, I am here with this village. I am here with my family. So I lent him his light, and he did never sleep. And finally, one day, he did look back up to me, his old, beaten body, his soiled feet. He said, Harvest Moon, I need you to turn your light away from me. And so I do. But then his blue pistol blood shot him like icicle dew, faded like the autumn leaves. His bright red cheeks dyed brown and crumpled. Next year when I came back, I tried to light the gap between morning and goodbye, but time is too tick, tick, ticking, telling me harvest moon. You will also one day be temporary. I think this as I watch his son paintbrush the farm back from the spirit morning and dusk as he takes the dust from underneath his fingertips and replenishes the light that we all need. It was then when I realized this farm, it also harvested me. I only need as much time as they to know that the stop motion game we call crop grow and decay is only a little short of transistory, but a story to convey eternity. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you're so kind. Um, actually, my favorite part about the audience clapping for me is when, before I even do anything, like in the beginning when you guys clapped for me before I even did anything, it's like, oh, thank you, just for existing. Instant respect. It's wonderful. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, my next one is going to be a new one that I wrote uh, a few days back. Um, it is about uh, my art mask, and that is what the name of the poem is as well. Um, yeah, uh, I'll leave it at that. Creativity is contagious, and I wear it like a mask. My art is a long mask that hangs proudly. It is robotic, automatic, profound, hypnotic, angry, Erotic, my art mask craves compassion, but ceases to exchange the scent of peaceful sanity for finding sense in the scheme of humanity. My art mask makes pennies in my thoughts, but the scents never add up to the same currency. My thoughts are on an angry sea. They are an electric movement that move away from me. My art mask takes on different shades, faces, personalities, rhyming schemes, when in reality, when my long mask speaks, it says Bloop. Every painter must paint who he is. Bloop. Every painter does not see the world as it truly is, and if so, he would not be a painter anymore. Bloop. The job of the artist is to deepen the mystery. Bloop. Pretentious, Bloop. profound. My long mask speaks, my long mask speaks, my long mask speaks. Sometimes I wonder if the words come through me and just out of my face. Because even on my most connected days, I speak through similes. My art mask glows with gloom so greedy it is often glorified. My art mask drips with dread so diseased it is dignified. My art mask wears anxiety so appeased it lays eggs inside of my mind and prays for more. My art mask craves the inconsistency in my metaphors. My art mask, like a dead poet, looks for hope in the corpse of Eureka. My art mask finds illuminance at its core in misery. Some days I wonder if my art mask 
takes my pain and repackages it as poetry, or maybe it is a shield from tragedy or a key to the unknown. All that I know is that with it, I have grown bloop, connected, bloop, questioning, bloop, concerned, bloop, calculating. I know that it is so stuck on my face that some days I feel trapped, but I would rather be trapped than blank. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and this is my last poem of the night, the day, the morning. <laughs> All right, uh, this is called The News. Uh, it's about the news. Uh, I'll, uh, everything that I say is a direct quote from the news. Um, yeah. In today's news, America has become a dolphin jumping through a hula hoop while pedestrians throw Trump bills into the water. In today's news, 17-year-old girl purchases Seventeen magazine when her boyfriend broke up with her because feelings can and will be barcoded. In today's news, human consciousness has evolved, has become a peanut. A white peanut, a straight peanut, a peanut in the shape of the 1% man. Remember, you are listening to the N-E-W double S. Fear, love, fear, love, fear, love, sex. Fear, love, fear, love, the peanuts know best. The peanuts know best. The peanuts know best. In today's TV show, token hot girl parades in the wet dreams of capitalism. Capital is um, built on optimism that if you work hard enough, you too can become a peanut. Even if you are raisin or cauliflower or dare I say woman in today's background music of today's TV show. We all hear we all live in a peanut factory, a peanut factory, a peanut triarchy, a peanut triarchy. Remember, you are listening to the N-E-W double S Fear, love, fear, love, fear, love, sex. Fear, love, fear, love. The peanuts know best. The peanuts know best. The peanuts know best. In today's horror movie, we see psycho killer kind of crazy minority. She is so different. She's a kind of new psycho kind of entity. We barely understand depression or anxiety. So why waste our empathy on the lone villain? In today's conversation, we trade peanuts like snacks, even though they grow on trees made up of plastic. In today's conversation, we use a greed as a tactic. In today's stories, we are so afraid of not being Aryan. We are carrying defeat in our lungs as we breathe. I hope you don't see the minority in me. In today's stories, terror resides in the comfort of our own minds. But don't mind that. You're listening to the N-E-W double S. This is the new SS. Fear, love, fear, love, fear, love, sex. Fear, love, fear, love. The peanuts know best. 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 Isn't it so easy to forget about the OP rest? Thank you. Uh, bye, everyone. Stay with me.